Hey guys, looks like it's beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks a bunch for stopping by. I do appreciate it. Today's beer comes from Field Work Brewing Company. They're out in California. This is their video Armageddon. Um, this was sent to me by Robert. He sent me a nice bare mouth package. Uh, so we're going to go with uh, what he has sent me here since I don't have anything else to review. <laughs> and the last month or so is kind of worked out by the time I finished up everything I have to review another beer mail package shows up so it's worked out pretty good uh, so uh, I do appreciate it uh, everybody that's sending me beers uh, Robert writes on this one uh, and most of the stuff that he's picked up and sent me has no date on it but he's picked picked it all up at the breweries uh, uh, so uh, I mean you can't get much fresh now but uh, there's a lot of breweries that are dating this stuff, and there's still quite a few of them that need to step up to the plate. Uh, if it was available here, I wouldn't buy it because they ain't got a date on it. But he picked it up at the brewery, and he said uh, he purchased it uh, at the brewery uh, on 721 of 20. This is a 6.6% 6 .6 uh, beer. I was calling it a New England style IPA. Uh, on the side of the can it says ale brewed with citra, mosaic, and Simcoe hops. Three outstanding hop varieties there, guys. Uh, and I don't see it claiming to be a New England style beer. A lot of times uh, Beer Advocate and uh, Untapped will say that when the can doesn't claim that. But once you pour it out of the can, you can usually tell whether they're going that direction or not. So uh, I do appreciate, that once again, the Roberts. Send me the beer mail package. So let's get on with this one. I don't think there's uh, anything else that I need to go over. We'll step over to Untapped real quick. And no IBUs in their commercial description, just saying the three hops uh, that's written on the can. So, big 16 ounce plain Jane silver can, and it's got a stick on wrap around the label. So let's see what we got here. Very cloudy, very hazy. It definitely looks like a New England style beer coming out of the can here, guy. And we're going to do a little swirly swirl here, and that's going to give us a little bit more head factor. And I'll spin this around where you can see it from the other side of the can where it says field work on it. But this is Video Armageddon. A uh, little bit more than a finger of head on there. A great looking beer. Definitely looks like a New England style beer guy. Not getting any light at all through the glass. A great looking beer. Through the nose we go. Oh yes. Very, very pleasant aroma. Oh yeah. I'm getting... Uh, pineapple. Oranges and mango got a nice citrusy note to it. Maybe a hint of some dank pine in it. Maybe even bit a little bit of peaches going on there. It's got a wonderful aroma. A very, very pleasant smelling beer. So let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Robert. Thank you. Super tasty. I'm getting almost a little bit of a dream sickle taste. I don't think they've used any lactose in the brewing of it. Very smooth. Alcohol is well hidden, but it's not a big beer. It says 6.6 .6 here. Untapped has got it at 6.7, so they probably have done it uh, multiple times, and a lot of times it changes. Beer Advocate has it at 6.6, .6, which is what is on the can here, guys.
Very smooth, pleasant, easy drinking beer. Very tasty. Uh, I would buy this beer, guys, if it was available here and it had a date on it. That's a very tasty beer. It's a good looking beer, too. Of course, I'm kind of partial on these New England style beers. Definitely my favorite as far as styles and IPAs and double IPAs and even pale ales. I've had some really tasty New England style pale ales too. So, flip it back around so you can see that side of the can again. And guys, it's right out of the fridge. We're going to sip on it and uh, let it come up to room temperature and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. been sipping on it for uh, about an hour now. Uh, very tasty beer. Like I said earlier, I would buy this beer if I could get in here and it had a date on it. Uh, this is a very tasty beer. I know it's fresh beer because he picked it up at the brewery. Uh, it's a little over a month old. I think he said he got this on the 21st. Today is September 1st. So about five weeks old. So maybe a little longer. But still very, very tasty. Still within its freshness uh, profile, which I give three months to. It's going to be tastier the first month than it is the third or fourth or fifth or sixth. It's going to start dying off as far as the hot presence and all that kind of stuff. So, very tasty beer, guys. And not an awesome lacing on the glass, but it, it has left some on there. So, definitely a tasty beer. Worth picking up if you can. Uh, uh, like I said, he picked it up at the brewery, so that he didn't tell me whether they distribute or everything is released from the brewery. Uh, so I don't know if they distribute it, they need to date it. If everything's out of the brewery, they still need to date it, but I can understand why they did, they wouldn't. So, final chug, taste your beer. I enjoyed this. Very pleasant. A lot tastier than what I can pick up around here, guys. Uh, none of the breweries around here make anything close to that. Not that I've experienced anyway. Beer Advocates only had one person comment on this beer. Uh, and uh, Untapped has had 728 people comment on this beer. <laughs> so, uh, it is what it is. Uh, to me, guys, uh, I think it's a really tasty beer. I'm going to give it an A. Uh, it, would, it would probably get an A plus if it had a date on it. still think they should have it. You're not going to get a 10 from me if you don't date your, your beers. It's not going to happen even if it's a 10 beer. And I may go on to add, it's a 10 beer and a 9 can. It's that good to me. Even though it's not up to the 7%, which was my go-to range, I would still buy this beer if it was dated and available here. So, uh, Untapped has it at 4.21. Uh, that's your borderline between their A- minus and their A scale. So, uh, very impressive beer. Very well done beer. That they'll just step up to the plate and date it. Yeah, that'd be the hot tip. So, if you've had uh, video Armageddon from Fieldwork Brewing Company, let me know what you think. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.